hello friends uh, welcome to my channel uh, so in this video uh, we will be learning how to send hundred thousands or even millions of email to people at the same time uh, and also you can customize your email uh, based on the the user's name so you can do a lot of customization also so this video uh, is very important because this is uh, this caters a lot of different types of audience for an example if you if you're an entrepreneur and uh, you want to send email to your customers or basically work in a marketing department or a marketing company where you are sending email to a lot of your customers at the same time or whether you are learning python or basically whether you want to learn how the email is being sent what is the smtp server so different advantage to different sort of audience so let's get started <clears throat> Okay, so for this project, we will be utilizing the built-in package. Uh, so there is a built-in package called SMTP Lib. So we'll be utilizing that for sending the email. So, uh, and I'll be using PyCharm uh, for writing the Python code. It's one of the very strong IDE for writing a Python code. And I have a different video how the PyCharm works. So please visit my channel and learn how the PyCharm work. So uh, let's get start writing the code, the fun part. So what I'll be doing is I'll start with import SMTP lib. So <clears throat> in case uh, uh, you don't have uh, this built-in library, you don't see that. So in PyCharm, what you can do is uh, well, either you can go into the external library and uh, search for Python 3 if you have that. If you don't have that, so uh, what you can do is you can go here in the PyCharm and if you have a Mac, so you can go to the preference and then uh, what you can do is you can go to the project and Python interpreter and click on the plus sign to install that package. So, so let's start writing the code. So, uh, so once I have imported this, uh, uh, this package, uh, uh, this library. So what I'm doing is I'll have another package. So email dot messages so what i'll be doing i have email message so we'll be using uh, this email dot message pa uh, package uh, for sending the email <coughs> uh, for basically building the email object so what we will be doing here is we will be using this email messages uh, for building the email object so let's start with create email object so what i'll do here is i'll use store that in a variable and then i'll say email message okay so uh, now we will be adding all the different parameters that we require when send an email in this <clears throat> email instance that i have created so i'll start with email and then what i have to define here is from so from whom i'm sending the email so so what will be the from when the email is being sent so let's i'll just put my channel name vna ai lab okay and then uh, we'll define like from whom that is coming so we will just say to so we will define here to, uh, like to whom we are sending this email so i have created a a dummy email address so i'll say python tutorial uh, so 42 at the rate gmail.com okay and then I have to define what will be the subject so subject so what I'll do here is I'll just uh, let's be a little fancy okay please subscribe to my channel okay okay and then uh, we have to set the content so basically uh, what would be the content so let's say so <clears throat> it's being called by set content okay and then uh, uh, what I'll do here is I can add uh, let's say learn AI 
and ML programming by subs from this channel. Channel. Okay, so now I have completed the email subject with the different uh, content that should be added to when the email is being sent, like to whom it would be sent, from where that will be coming subject, the content. So now what we have to do is we have to use an SMTP server. So that's what we have imported this library also, SMTP library. So uh, this SMTP actually stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And uh, uh, it's an application used by a mail server to send, receive emails between email sender and receiver. So like the way we, like on the internet, we use HTTP protocol uh, for accessing the website. So for, for sending the emails, we use SMTP server. And SMTP email server will have an address. Uh, so that can be set by a mail client. So for an example, Gmail use smtp.gmail.com. So we will be using the, uh, the Gmail SMTP server for this. And uh, when you send an email, the SMTP server actually process your email and decide which server to send the email uh, and relay the message to the server. And the recipient inbox service provider then downloads the message and places that in the recipient inbox. So that's that's more about like uh, what is SMTP and why it is required and how it works. So let's use the SMTP to send the email. So as I mentioned, we will be using the Gmail SMTP. So in order to use that, what? So we will start with SMTP way, and then we call this SMTP. So that's the beauty of using PyCharm. It actually shows all the different methods available. So now we have to give the host here. So the host will be here, as I mentioned here, is <coughs> Uh, so host equal to, so we will be using the, the Gmail one. So it will be smtp.gmail.com. Okay. And then as smtp, so I'm storing in that variable. Okay. So now there is a few parameters that uh, uh, you have to call. So basically it's start with smtp.ehlo okay so this method so smtp uh, so it's <clears throat> if you will just look at it like it's hello but it is ehlo so it's an extended hello so uh, it's called extended simple mail transfer protocol so uh, it's basically initially a command is being sent to the email server to identify itself when connected to another email server and to start the process of sending an email. So basically it's an initiating that process. And then it, it's followed with sending an email server domain name. So so basically it's it tells like I'm initiating this process and that's what it's more of an ping something. So, and then it's it goes with second uh, method that we call is SMTP dot starts TLS. So what this is saying is we are sending an email uh, by an SMTP with TLS encryption. So this is more of encrypting it. And then we have to log in. So what, uh, so you, you need to actually create a, an email account. So either you use your existing email account or you can create a dummy email account that you want to test it for yourself. Uh, so what I'll be doing here is, uh, so from which email account you want to send the email. So I have my Vine AI lab at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so here you have to specify the username and the password. So two parameters. So, okay, uh, I have been using the subscribe, subscribe a lot. So please go ahead and subscribe the channel. <laughs> Okay, so now SMTP dot, now what you have to do is the message send message. Okay, so now what you have to do is just 
the email object that we have created above. So we will just pass this. Double bracket, okay, just one. Okay, and then we'll just add a print statement also so that we know the email just to make sure the email is being sent. Okay, so now all set. Uh, so <clears throat> let's send the email. So I have been sending from my this account, Vinay AI Lab, and uh, to basically this email address. And this is the subject in the body. And I'm using an SMTP server, as I explained. So let's go and run this. So I'll just right click, run send email. Okay, let's see. Perfect. So email is being sent. That's perfect. Okay, so let's refresh it. So it is, it is being sent to this email address from this. So let's refresh it. Perfect. So we can see Vinay AI Lab pre subscribe to my channel if we click on it. So learn AI programming. So one important thing to mention here is uh, one setting is required actually when you are testing this. So uh, that setting from from the email yours from the email account from which you are sending an email. So basically what you have to do is go to the account. Uh, actually, I already made this. So that's why you're not seeing this setting. So go to the security and uh, scroll down and uh, there is a less secure app access. So by default, this is turned off. So for testing this, you need to turn this on. So uh, basically it's saying that, so when you turn this on, it so the hackers can hack into the account. So I'll say for experiment purpose, just uh, turn it on and after that, turn that off. So this setting is very important when you are sending the email. So let's go back to our code. So let's make it a little fancy. So now what we are doing is we will customize this email also. So in order to customize this email, we will be utilizing uh, another, so, uh, package we will use. So we'll use string. So in string, there is a package. Uh, so there is a module called template. <coughs> okay. So what this does is um, you can create a placeholder uh, that the which you want to uh, actually customize it. So basically you can use a dollar sign for substituting uh, the text that you want to customize. So let's see how this works. This will help you to read. Once we start writing, you'll understand much better. So let's say I say create a template that has place holder place holder value for name. So what I'm doing here is as I'll have that in the email content. So I'll say email content. So I can now use template and I will define whatever the, the dynamic values I want to put here. Uh, so, so let's say I'll say hi and then whatever the um, the text that I want to substitute, I will have the dollar sign. I'll say name and then uh, I'll copy the same. Okay, it's and learn AI programming from this channel. Okay, and then boom, done. And now what I do here is in order to replace it, I have to call substitute. So I will just remove this one. Okay, and I'll have email content dot substitute. So what I will do here is whatever the value I'll give here, it will substitute uh, over in the name. So I can give a dictionary, also give multiple values, or I can just give one name. So, so let's say if I give a name, uh, so it's a string, so we have to give in the quotes, and then let's say I give 
ram <coughs> okay so now what i'm saying here is you substitute name with ra uh, and uh, it, it's a dictionary it can have multiple ones so i'm just giving one but for learning purpose i'm saying you can have many as a comma separated okay so now uh, i think that's all about we don't need to do anything else so let's see what uh, okay so i think this should be fine so let's run this again okay let's see perfect email is being sent let's go back to this now so we should have another email here go back and refresh it whoa so second email hi ram I learn ai and ml programming from this channel so that is perfect now you see that there is customized email so that way you can customize your content for sending emails to a lot of users so uh, this is so this way i think now you should be able to send an email with the python and then what you can do is you can customize your email content and the subject also by defining in the template uh, and also you can send many emails by looping this over many many times and python is pretty fast in sending an email so you can use any sort of smtp server i just use the gmail smtp server but you can use any smtp server so uh, i hope you learn uh, now like how to send an email and how to customize while sending an email how to send email to lots and lots of users so uh, that's all about this video and thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel